Hello, this is Justin from Justin's Fountain of Youth, and I got an excellent question the other day, which was, should you warm up before working out? And uh, first thing I did was look into the literature, and it's surprisingly split with about 60% of what I saw saying, yes, warming up is good, it will help prevent injuries, and the other 40% saying, we don't really see anything. Uh, should you warm up? Eh, don't really do it. Um, with it being so split, it's hard to give a solid recommendation that you have to, but because there is a positive bias towards warming up being helpful for injury prevention, and there is no data saying that warming up is harmful, you will get injured for doing it, uh, I'd suggest doing warm up, especially if you're injured. Um, however, if you're healthy, you have no lingering injuries or anything, and you're just sort of strapped for time, you want to do your workout as quickly as possible, then Technically, you don't really need to do any warm-up beforehand, so I'll leave that a little bit on you with a recommendation that you probably should if you have the time to. So, getting into if yes, how should you warm up? This is going to be very sport and event specific. So, for instance, I did uh, track and field in high school and college, and uh, the entire team would do a, a t half a mile or two laps around the track as a warm-up, and then we would split up and do continued warm-ups for whatever group you're in. Jumpers would go over there, do their warm-up. Throwers would go, sprinters, uh, long-distance runners would again do a little bit more warm up before they got into their actual activities. Uh, when I did basketball, essentially, you would do dribbling, running drills, passing, shooting. Uh, likewise with soccer, we do uh, dribbling drills, passing, shooting, running around the field a little bit to warm up. Um, if you're doing swimming, you're going to want to basically swim some laps, again at a lower intensity. Uh, something like rock climbing, you're going to want to, whatever route difficulty you're working on, you're going to want to step it down a couple of difficulties at least to do a warm up. Uh, and if you're doing weightlifting, uh, you're going to want to select uh, a weight that is going to be of sort of moderate difficulty. It's going to be, allow you to put the weight on, you still feel it and you'll be able to actually practice the correct form, all of the cues that you're gonna to want to go through, but you're not gonna really be um, breathing super heavily while you're doing it. It's that level of exertion where it's moderate, but you're not like <gasps> afterwards, right? You're gonna still want to be able to preserve your actual full intensity effort for the workout itself. So. The last thing I did ask is sort of static versus dynamic stretching. When should you do either, what's best, all of that. So static stretching is things like going down, bending, touching your toes. It's essentially you're lengthening the, the muscle, tendons, all that sort of thing without uh, really moving very much. You're standing still versus dynamic. You're doing sort of can-cans. You're, you're moving while you're warming your body up. And, you know, when I was younger, um, definitely we did static before working out, uh, but sometime around my transition from middle school to high school, um, the literature started to show that static stretching probably not a good idea to do then. You should do dynamic. It's gonna help warm you up better. The problem with doing static stretching before your actual activity is that it can, it, it is good for actually increasing your range of motion, the problem being you're increasing the range of motion of your joints and ligaments sort of beyond what they're normally um, allowed to do going into an event where you're working very hard and that can actually cause injury in those locations, right? You're all of a sudden making your shoulders stretch to a degree that it's not normally at and then you're putting full energy, full motion into that that can cause an injury there. And so, um, static stretching before you actually work out is probably a pretty bad idea. Also, um, some literature seems to show that if you do the static stretching before you warm up, it is actually uh, a little bit intense and so it can take away from your maximal effort while working out. And so that's why sort of doing these dynamic sort of stretching, like I was saying, you're doing something actively in whatever you're doing for your workout, and then you want to do static stretching sort of at the end after the workout is over, or you want to do that increased flexibility, mobility sort of work at a different time in the day or a different day altogether. 
that will probably be the best results for you. Uh, hopefully it was helpful. If you liked, give it a thumbs up, uh, comment be down below. Uh, if you have more ideas for topics, let me know and have a great day. See you later.